Hi CC families, this is cycle three, week five memory work. Uh, we'll start with timeline today. We had Judah falls to Babylon, temple destroyed. So we had our J fink pinky finger, Judah, just draw a J, that's sign language J, falls to Babylon. And um, we have done this before for Babylon. An L is actually a little more accurate in terms of doing the, the signs for it. So an L, when we're listing down the laws um, of the Babylonian Empire when we do that. So Judah falls to Babylon. Temple, make a little T and stack your hands like bricks. Temple destroyed. Okay. Judah falls to Babylon. Temple destroyed. That's a lot of motions for one card, one event. And then Babylon falls to Persia, the sign language P for Persia. Jews return. So um, I've done J, Jews return. Um, I would just do a J, Jews return, and rebuild the temple, and then stack your hands like we're building. Okay, That's the motion that we're going to use. Jews return and rebuild the temple. Roman Republic, just to make your sign language R, which is your fingers crossed, Roman Republic, and then do um, like bull horns, if you remember doing that, but we're not putting them on our head. We're going to put your pinky by your ear, and this is sign language for gold, okay? Y for yellow and like an earring, okay? Um, so golden age of Greece. Peloponnesian War, we're going to do... Um, Little alligator fingers, I call them. Do that and act, do like you're putting down your vi your war visor on your helmet. So Peloponnesian War. This is the back and forth because one side will be winning and then the other side will be winning and it's a war, so they're fighting. So Peloponnesian War. And then our last one today was Persia, P for Persia, falls to Alexander, sign language A, Alexander the Great. Okay, so hands in the air for Alexander. And uh, so all together, it goes like this. Judah falls to Babylon, temple destroyed. Babylon falls to Persia. Jews return and rebuild the temple. Yay! Roman Republic, golden age of Greece. Peloponnesian Wars, Persia falls to Alexander the Great. And there's your timeline. Uh, for math, we did nines and tens today. And these are getting tougher, higher, bigger numbers. So um, the nines are to the tune, I think it's like, do Lord, do Lord, do you remember me? Anyway, um, so it's, so now let's go like this. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99, 108, 9, there we go. Um, and we just did some different motions like we do. I took ideas today from the kids on um, different actions to do with our nines. And for tens, we have 10 fingers and 10 toes. So we, um, there's no song, we just count them. And you can use your 10 fingers or your 10 toes to tap on the floor or tap on the table in front of you. And we'll just say them together, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And you guys were really good at this, so you could do it really fast, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, our history sentence is about George Washington. Uh, I just gave each child pictures. And do I have this with me? Um, so I gave each child pictures, and they're here. So they would each hold up their sign uh, when we got to that part of the sentence. So it goes like this. In 1789 in New York, 
George Washington was granted the full power and responsibilities of the presidency by the U.S. Constitution. Okay, we had fun going around in the circle and having everybody um, hold up their picture for the history sentence. For our Latin this week, we had another group of verbs. We sang a song to the tune of Alouetta and used some hand motions um, to help us remember these verbs. So it goes like this. Factum made nisus and comprehenderunt comprehended. Look at shyness, fluid there was. Latin verbs were at the end. And we practice doing a cutoff, which is going to be really helpful when we learn music with our tin whistle the next six weeks. So learning the cutoff and we stop singing. Very important skill. Um, science was fun. Um, we're learning about the five main senses. So we sang, what are the five main senses? The five main senses are sight, hearing, taste, smell, touch. 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 And it's kind of like a tongue twister to say those all in a row. See if you can sing it faster and faster this week. For English, we learned our first verb um, to go through all those principal parts that we learned, the infinitive and present, participle, past participle. So um, we use the same motions that we've been with infinitive, present, past, present participle, past participle, okay? So our verb was to be, let's sing it together. To be and are is, was, were, being, been. To be and are is, was, were, being, been. Okay. And geography. Here's our map for today. And I'm actually going to play um, the song segment that I have and we'll sing along with it. I see Michigan, Columbus, Ohio, Indianapolis, Indiana, Frankfurt, Kentucky, Nashville, Tennessee. Get ready again. I see Michigan, Columbus, Ohio, Indianapolis, Indiana, Frankfurt, Kentucky, Nashville, Tennessee. Very nice. Um, and then finally, we added uh, just a few more presidents this week and just making our way slowly through the list, the song of all the presidents. That way, by the end of the year, when we're supposed to learn them all in one week, we will know them very well. So um, we actually added Adams, the second Adams um, over here, and Jackson, okay? So at this point, this is what we know. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, and Monroe. Adams, Jackson. Okay, so practice those and we will learn even more next time with our president hat. Next week for presentations, our letter of the week is the letter F. Also, um, other classes, if you have older siblings, they will be picking a state from the United States and presenting a few facts about that state. So your F could be for facts about a state, if you would like to, and you might bring along a picture of that state or a picture of something from that state. Just You can be really creative um, and do a state we've already learned or one that we don't know about yet. So whatever your mom and dad decide for you to do. You guys um, decide if you want to bring an object that's an F or 
come up with some facts about a state to share with the class. We would love to learn about uh, more about our states. So I will see you next week.